this has really got to go in. Oink. Well, I'll be going in near the black here. We can't have that shot. Oh, wait. It's the one thing he could not afford to do. I think I'd have rather rolled the pink onto a cushion and even left a red available. I'm afraid that was a poor Point. shot. Given O'Sullivan more than the hope that I think he expected. I think he thought his next Nine. shot would be coming to the table with a chance to clear up. Well, it's looking like a big mistake, not only to free the black, but to, to leave a red on as well at the same time. Fifty. Sixty. Yeah, they're going again pretty well along there. He's never going to miss that. The next shot's the difficult one because he's got to get almost hard up against the bolt cushion so that he can get access to the the, the last red. If he overhits O'Sullivan, then he may not be able to get to the red at all. But this is not an easy positional shot. Wow, what a delight. Put the people on a sixpence there. This really was a delightful shot. To finish behind the brown ball, pace absolutely A1. Just such a great touch shot. Disappointment at the interval, assuming this does go 3 1. What's the name? But the shot he played to get on the last red, shot of the match. Necessarily think of it as shot of the match, would you? But it was beautifully played. You're right. There's something more spectacular. 55. That was a nice shot too. You know, with left hand side. So. 
Kate. No. Seventeen. Twenty one. Twenty six. There's always the fear of an O'Sullivan clearance because he's done it before uh, a lot of times as well. I, I think the, the way he's played that shot, I have to say, it was a very difficult pot. It was more difficult than the one that he'd already missed. More difficult than the one in the middle as well. So, last chance saloon for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Can he produce something? special and take this match the distance one That's a good shot he wanted to turn the black early because he hasn't got that many points to play with especially with the red in bulk he won't be able to take too high value color now then what's he got here eight Nine. Just got to, that would open everything up. So I think again, blacks with as many of these reds 16. as you can. Seventeen. take a, a brown with the red in bulk 24. but even then I'm not sure he particularly want to do that 25 it's the easiest color to pop with that red but the brown would have to go down the table a little bit away from the yellow and green now let's change things clearly playing on 32. something other than the black this time Thirty-three. Needs to play on the pink. And in doing so, red brown will not be enough. They can only tie then. Thirty-nine. Forty. Well, he's done ever so well here. He really has dragged himself back into this match, but. There are still a few obstacles in his way. Very anxious moments these for Yan Bing Tao. He was one red away. 46. Said straight red from range into this yellow pocket from victory. 48. Well, the big moment now is getting an angle on the brown ball. And that's really Yan Bing Tao's only hope in this frame, I think. If he finishes it straight, it's not easy brown to blue. 51. That looks absolutely perfect. 55. O'Sullivan had looked subdued since he took a 2-1 lead with that fabulous century. Well, what a clearance this is. 60. Not there yet, but 
tell you, this really has been O'Sullivan digging very deep. This is absolutely 66. fantastic. The six times world champion bursting back to life. Listen to the waterfront hall, the roof being raised. That is one of the best clearances you'll see this week. Oh, they're dead on. Six well, I mean, you play the run through there, and you, you know you've got to hit the, the red you played into again on the way through, so you're never sure. Still around the angles. Seven. To say the least, that is quite annoying, that nudge. 75 left, so... He needs one more red, doesn't he? Does he play on the black from it, <laughs> is the question. That's a dilemma, because Sullivan's likely to mop these up. You know, he'd like to play on the black, but really, it uh, makes the shot even more difficult in a way. No, no one four seven, but oh, certainly one four. Probably not that one. Sullivan's going to take one. the new colours here. If you can get on the black, if not the pink, you can take a couple more. But. Generally speaking, it's got to be something big with every red that he takes. Like he can afford to take the pink twice. And all the rest blacks, of course. There's no reason why he shouldn't be able to play on the black, where the reds are. They're all so low on the Seven. table. Nothing's up, up the table, so... I don't think that's going to be an issue. Eight. Just the potting of the balls of the issue, not the colours in which he takes with them. I mean, it's a long way off, but this would be, uh, well, the icing on the cake, really, 15. wouldn't it, for, for Tom Ford, if you like, to lose this frame. Goodness me. But there's a lot of work to be done to make that happen yet. Sixteen. Sullivan's so good he knew that he could play that cannon and if anything went wrong 27. the other red on the left is still there anyway so he reads the game so beautifully didn't have to a lot of players would have played that at the last opportunity he knew there was value in playing it a little early Twenty-four. keep looking at the scores but he can afford to take the pink and the black. Well, of course, two blacks even better, but nothing lower value is any use. 31. 32. So it makes you think he might not play to cannon it. That's his, he can either play the cannon or to play him behind it. But he, yeah, I think he played him behind it because he knew if he gets this red, it'll be on the black. The cannon might have made him take a lower value colour. Well, here comes the money shot in this frame. If this goes right, Tom Ford will have reason to be extremely concerned. And again, couldn't touch the sides from Sorry. Well, this really would be the nail in the coffin, wouldn't it? Well, it would. I'm thinking that even blue to pink is not simple, given that the blue is into a narrow pocket opening. He thinks the frame's gone already, probably. If the blue is on its spot, I think the frame's definitely over. I just feel that there's a squeak for Tom Ford here. That this clearance won't be made. Only a squeak, mind. 52. That's not perfect, I don't think. To run it off the cushion, it'd be quite close to the blue to play it in the middle. 
if he can. Two or three minutes ago, he was a ball away from winning the frame and entertaining thoughts of a maximum break. Now, he's on the cusp of going 4-0 behind. <laughs> Is there going to be a twist? Uh, I'm not sure he played on it into the bottom left. He played it with right hand check. But he won't mind that. He's not actually too bad where he's finished. Still a tough shot. I knew it was on the cards. But it's a tough old game, and he's making it look easy still, isn't it? It's extraordinary how this night's going. To the middle, if he wasn't Kim Oakley, would be comfortable. Not now, <laughs> well, that was ever so close to something's in the pack there that he likes. I don't know if it's a plant of any kind, three ball plant. I mean, that would be so handy because uh, you know, this would be unmissable if it was on. Well, it's not dead on, I mean, it's going to go to the left jaw but depends how he hits the first one I don't know if they, they are in line actually I think it's offset originally it, to be honest he hit exactly where it looked like he was going to hit didn't Running it down 52. so he leads by 56 still plenty on Play with extra pace on it. One. Now this is tough, isn't it? Goodness me! That's a terrific shot. That really is top class. Five. Is he going to knuckle down here? Oh, you can't turn it on like a switch, Six. but players do have a gear to overdrive if need be. And I think, in the context of this match right now, O'Sullivan has certainly got to step up on what we've seen. Thirteen. Quite a lot resting on whether he can pop this red. He obviously thinks it will pass. Point two. Sullivan will only be a few behind if he takes those with high value colours. Point nine. Thirty. Thirty six. Well, he definitely That's played the seven. cannon there on the, the top red and tried to shift it into play. Well, he might play the double. I don't know. 42. One of those shots which he Four, certainly three. wouldn't have played on. It's another good shot, but his next shot again is a difficult one. So this frame Fortuna. now is, is almost at parity. Oh, well, this is an incredible turnaround. He's not won the frame yet, but he just flicked a switch, Dave, hasn't he? Well, he set his stall out to, to go on the attack. I mean, you look at the red O'Sullivan pot, he left himself a very tough brown. 62. A little bit of a bewildered look on Dominic's face because, like you say, essentially it was that three ball plant which I didn't think was ever really on. And all of a sudden the frame's gone. What did he really do wrong? He played the cue ball back. Well, it's just been an incredible dish, really. And Dominic Dyer looks a bit shell shocked, doesn't he? A 77 clearance, and O'Sullivan needs 3 2. Yellow and one more red needed. No positional ambition <laughs> whatsoever. 45. Forty-seven. 
Neil Robertson. 47. 41 behind, 35 on, two snookers required. Shot that was. Foul. What else? Seven four. risk trying to hold that cue ball tight to the yellow and the red back up and down and behind the green that's another fabulous snooker and a slight drop of the shoulder new Robertson when he got to the table there what a tough snooker this is to hit yeah good hit good hit Robertson's relief will be palpable. The job isn't done yet. What can Selby here? Absolutely granite stuff from Ronnie O'Sullivan. This is such a hard hit, and well, if you miss it, the free ball comes into the equation. Wow. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Free ball. A two minute plus shot time is quite lengthy, but perhaps even the match might be changing. Yeah, free shot this black as well. Bounty in the blue. He won't be leaving the red if he misses it. We were talking about if Ronnie could possibly get a bit of inspiration from somewhere to find his best form or One. win in a frame like this. Could be the catalyst for that happening. Beautiful shot. Six. Seven. Oh, what a frame sleeper this has been to end the afternoon. Fourteen. Seventeen. Twenty-one. This has been brilliant match play 26. from Ron O'Sullivan to steal this frame. The pot's pink and black. 32. Yes, right. He's on He's been called to get the 2-2. Two -two. That was smoke and mirrors to get to 4-4 with one extraordinary act of escapology. John Higgins got temperament in abundance. 52. 53. That has never waned. This pink 
to close the gap to just two. And prefers the black. Oh, oh dear me, why did he hit it so hard? John Higgins, 53. Well, what happened there? That must have been a big rush of adrenaline to hit the ball that hard. And settle down, please. He only needed the black. Mm. Oh, that was a huge mistake. One. Really can only tie at the moment. Now, the angle on the black is very, very acute, but he could disturb these two reds if he pots it. Oh, there's your look. Oh, very unlucky. Well, he could have hurt his hand there. Eight. He gave the butt of the cue a good old crack. He was certainly annoyed there with the way that turned out. Ronnie Sullivan. Eight. <laughs> oh, what a shot he's played here. Wow. Amazing what can happen in a frame of snooker. Settle for that. He wasn't sure what was going to happen there. But look where the black's gone. He's going to need that black. Possible shot. Try and get the cue ball behind the green. No. moment he's got to just keep things safe because he's got to get a chance to get on the black that as you can see there it's available into that one corner pocket but he's going to have to wait to get a chance to pot a red and get over there got the double kiss I'll, I'll tell you what there might possibly be a way but what a shot if he's to get round the table and in behind that black, he's got to avoid the brown. He might just, no, hadn't got the angle to even attempt it. So waiting patiently. Decent shot there from Ronnie, covering the red, bringing that out into the pot up position. Now, possibility here, Dennis, try and play this red he's closest to, just nudge into the black. And leave the cue ball behind the pink. Well, to tell you what, he's looking at taking the red on into the left corner, screwing mm. off the side cushion, top cushion, and back in round behind. This will be the shot of the championship if he pulls this off. Just have a look at this shot he's trying. Have a look at that. Oh. Well, fractions, it might still go, but what an effort that was. Does it still pot? It still goes. Yeah, there's plenty of room. And the referee just had a look at it, but what a pot this was. Well, it's quite simply a must pot on the black. Now, three cushions. Incredible.
it looks good if it misses the blue he's on the black doesn't want to be straight the slightest of angles to try and get somehow onto the yellow but he can't force it too much no he's okay i think he's still got a shot at the uh, yellow tell you what, though, if he misses the pink he's a lot closer to it this is tough I've never seen anything like it. What a <laughs> frame of snooker. Twenty-five. Thirty. This is just amazing. What a treat we've been on over yet. Pink and black required for a respot. What a clearance this would be. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Frame still not over, of course. It will be a respot. The black will come out back out. But he needs the black. Amazing. What an amazing clearance that was from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Wow. Even a little reaction from Ronnie there. And now you want to win the toss. I want to say, like, oh, we'll toss the coin. Side to side shot. Has he left the double? And will he take it on? What's a possibility? Double the black into the left centre pocket. Could play an easy safety shot. He's gone for the double, but it's well wide. And he's looked at both corner pocket. He wants to have a go. He hasn't even thought about a safety shot. Wasn't far away that attempted pot from John Higgins. He's left it into the left centre, and what a frame! It's there. Ronnie O'Sullivan has done almost the impossible in this frame. He's pulled it right from under John Higgins' feet. The frame Higgins should have won. He's lost it. O'Sullivan now leads ten frames to six.